and welcome back to another video. Now, today we'll be looking at the uh, money add-on uh, for uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, now, this is a bit of an older one, that, but initially it didn't really take my interest until I got a comment on the uh, top six add-ons for uh, survival flat worlds on, you know, on Minecraft Bedrock uh, from Kamun. Kam Kermudjigabir, god damn it, I, now, uh... Kermudjini Librarian. Kermudjini Librarian, uh, about it, putting this on my radar, so thank you to you, Kermudjigabir. God damn it, making an easier name to say, Libra Miss, I'm just gonna call you Mr. Librarian, C... CL? Whatever. Uh, thank you for putting this on my radar, so let's take a look at this, uh, add-on today. Um dear. Will you just snoozling? Oh precious girl. Oh one day she woke one day she woke me up back in the whinging. Uh just for me to come into the living room so she could come in here and sleep. <laughs> I, I was not best impressed as like, you woke me up just so you could go to sleep in here. Give you tum tum mops all oh, yeah, you love your tum tum mops, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Hey, oh, you need book. Not seen this a book like this before. Guys, Pokemon Master, welcome to the money add-on guide. This add-on brings currency into your Minecraft world, allowing you to trade a Create shops and uh, showcase your wealth. Let's dive in and explore how to use this exciting new feature. First step, you will need to craft Mr. Money on uh, a crafting table with one egg, one gold ingot. Mr. Money uh, will uh, be your gateway to trading with different traders and uh, acquire various currencies and gems. So gold and uh, one gold ingot and an egg. That's easy peasy. Uh, gold ingot. There we go, and egg. Where's the elbow? There it is. Hmm. Oh, well. And you craft to spawn Mr. Money. Yeah, and it doesn't remember what you were. Uh, trading with traders. There are four types of traders in this add-on. Mr. Money trades other uh, traders, gems, and power stones. Block trader trades blocks for coins. All trader trades ores for coins. ATM trades uh, all, all one type of currency for another. So, uh, currency exchange rate. One coin is equivalent to one gold ingot. Three coins is equivalent to one uh, note. One note is equivalent to one diamond. So that's a three. So one coin is one gold ingot. It's equivalent to a gold ingot. And one and three coins is equivalent to a note. And one note is one diamond. So that's saying that three gold ingots is equivalent to one diamond. Uh, power stones. There are six types of power stones that give you abilities. So when the stone is in your hotbar. Where water jump uh, regeneration highest at speed and levitation. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Hello, Mr. Money. There, so we can trade him a gold ingots for a spawn block trader, uh, a you know, block trader, ore trader, and ATM. You get notes and get uh, gems. Sa you can get sapphires, diamonds, amethysts, uh, zircon, and topaz, and rubies, and peridot, and opal, and uh, garnet, and emerald, and aquamarine, and alexandrite, and the uh, hey oh here we go haste got the haste power stone, jump power stone, levitation power stone, regen stone. Speed stone and water stone. So let's grab a bunch of gold. I don't think I have a lot of gold actually. How much will do it? Can I go up please? There we go. So I have 38 ingots. 
I don't think I have any gold blocks. Well, I have one gold block. How many? I have one of that. Um, okay, I really... Uh, I can just give myself a bunch of gold. Give... Let's P Gold... Block... 255... Don't know... Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, that's where I keep going at number one. Where did all my gold ingots go? So let's get a block trader, or trader, and ATM. So let's take a look at the block trader. So you can get, so you can trade in 64 stone for a coin, 64 dirt for a coin, 64 grass for two coins, which is kind of why I guess you do need to touch to get grass. I don't know. Uh, 64 gravel for 3 coins, 64 sand and dirt for a coin, 64 andesterite for 2 coins, 64 diorite for 2 coins, 64 granite for 2 coins, 64 neverack and endstone for a coin, and you can trade 64 obsidian for 6 coins. Okay. Then we have the ore trader. It's 64 coal for 2 coins, 64 lapis for 2 coins, 64 redstone for 2 coins, and 64 iron for 2 coins. Then we have the ATM. Wait, can't you trade gold for coins? That's odd. Then ATM, you can trade coin for gold, you can trade coin for note, you can trade notes for diamonds, you can trade gold for diamonds. Okay, why is it free gold for one diamond? Like, Three gold should not be equivalent to one diamond. 64 notes for a stack of notes. Uh, 36 coins for a stack of coins. 32 gold for a stack of gold ingots. Blocks. A uh, gold ingot for gold coin. Note for coins. Diamond for note. Di diamond for three gold. Stackable note block for 64 notes. Stackable coins for 32 coins. Yeah. So, my problem with this is, why can you trade in three gold ingots for a diamond? Like, they are not equivalent. Um, like, they, like a stack of gold for a diamond, maybe? Like, hold on. Gold. I have, like, a bunch of go gold stuff noted down here. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh. Uh, ba, ba, ba. That's Statue Valley. Gold or three diamonds per stack. Gold block, yeah, gold block, one diamond for 16. So, uh, what, 16 times 9 equals, so like, one diamond is basically equivalent to 144 gold ingots. Now, this wouldn't be too bad, this wouldn't be so bad. If you could customize the prices, like, there's no way to customize the prices. It's like, no. Unless I go game mood one. Mon e. Yeah, there's no way to control. World Utilities and Smeltery. Yeah, there's no way to customize um, your the prices of things. Uh, so this just makes diamonds way too easy to acquire. Because uh, gold, yeah, like I said, gold is no is no in there like the value of a diamond. 
And then you're like 64 iron, like that, and like redstone. So you, and you're also saying like coal, lapis, redstone, and iron are, are all valued the same. Like that is just not true. Well, iron isn't super expensive. Uh, valuable because you can make iron farms fairly easily and they're fairly efficient. Uh, redstone is not super easy to get a hold of it, at least not right now until like uh, the witch, the witches get their drops updated a little bit later on, and maybe it'll be. But uh, I think like a stack of coal should be like worth one, a uh, stack of lapis should be worth two, a stack of iron should be worth three. And a stack of redstone should be worth four at least, uh, so, or something like that. Um, the coins and like, uh, and I like, make it so like, uh, it's like sixteen. Well, yeah, I did say yeah, sixteen gold blocks for a note. And then have one that would be equivalent to one diamond, that that would be fine. And like have a uh have a, and if you like have a coin be equivalent to one gold block, that'd be fine. And you yeah, so yeah, to, you're also saying like a stack of diorite is equivalent to, to a stack of uh, any of these, so, so yeah, these these need to be bumped up in value. So, um, if I go back to like the my minute, so if I go call, god damn it, why does it keep doing that? Call, uh. Hmm, I don't have any value for coal. What about red? Yeah, redstone. You get sixteen uh, blocks of redstone for one diamond. So it's so redstone is at least equivalent to gold. Uh, lapis. You could probably get away with like one stack for a diamond. One stack of lapis for a diamond. I, 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 basically, right, the, I would just like a way to like uh, customize the prices. They do have a, like a choice. They don't have a uh, Discord. So yeah, it's like I could just like take a stack of uh, gold blocks. And then just, yeah, I can just like kick, kick, just get a bunch of diamonds. Like I said, gold's not super difficult to get because you, uh, even without a gold farm, you can get a fair bit of it just by mining. Yeah, I I cannot recommend this. Is that from one stack of blocks? I just got three stacks of diamonds. So yeah, not really a good idea in my opinion. Oh wait, wrong way round. <laughs> right, let's make some of these and see what these look like. One, two... Yeah, oh, they're only one... These make them a hundred dollar bills. Uh, ba ba ba. I get 
point. Yes, I can. I can get three coins. Then let's get some of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, again, these are just one coin. But there's another one of coins that you could make. Yeah, they're fine. If you like them, you like them. If you don't like them, you don't like them. Uh, let's convert these back into coins. And convert the dollars to diamonds, I guess. And convert them into gold, I guess. So, yeah, I really can't um, recommend... Oh, I need... I forgot about yeah. Uh, let me go get some dollar bills and I'll, I'll take a look at what he's got. I got a stack of dollar bills. And I need more. Hold on. Give that P bill. Oh, what is it called? Note. Give that P note. Two fifty five. Alright, so just drop the green one. There we go. So I got opal, boom, 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 boom. Ah, and now onto the power stones. There we go. So these are the gems. You can place them down. And they look pretty. Can you pick them? Yeah, you can, but they don't have a point, uh, point on the bottom, so... It's... You can basically just place them down as vanity items. I do like, uh... I do like vanity items, like items they can just get that are ex super expensive and their only um, use is to just look nice. Um, oh yeah, let's have, take a look at these gems of power. So this one is jump. How do I use it? Oh, if I take my arm off, so I don't have the effects on my armor. What does it say about the power stones? Power stones. Six seven power stones that give you that give you abilities when the stone is in your hot bar. This one should be yeah, this one's giving me jump it giving me jump boost free. Oh that's cool. I think this lets me jump up three blocks. Yep. And I take full damage. And uh, then there's a speed boost to give you Speed free. Pretty nice. You can run fast. Then there's levitation. I guess you could like think of some uses for that. Then you got haste stone, which gives you haste five, which is good. Pretty sure that's give, that's giving me haste five, and it's not me. Yeah. Because the beacon doesn't get, yeah, it only gives you haste too, so that's pretty cool. That's really good actually for like a uh, mining and regeneration stone. Now that that is good. Like regen stone is uh, uh, really good if for like uh, combat and stuff. And then you also have 
water, which gives you water breathing. So, yeah, the stones are pretty cool. But I would really like it if, like, I think the the best way to just, like, fix my problems with this is just to make it so you can customise how much everything costs. Because, in my opinion, there's two, the, like, three gold for a diamond is way too cheap and the death way too exploitable. Um, so you should be able to... Uh, there should be an item for like... Uh, so if you if you like a, if you like a moderator on the realm where you can just go into creative and... Uh, um, you know, be able to change how much everything costs, and maybe add to like new items and everything. Um, yeah, that, that would be good. Uh, I pre I'm pretty sure they can do that. Um, I don't make add-ons, so don't ask me, you ever on the list possible. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this, so yeah, again, can't really recommend it, but it, it would be, I mean, uh, like he, he did say it would be good for a super flat, I mean, I guess you can trade in the dead for coins, and then use those coins to get diamonds, but I really don't see this being super good for, uh, super flat, really, or, well, flat, because you need, you need one gold ingot to get all of the one of each one of each of these and you need a gold ingot to get him and gold ingots in the flat aren't easy to get so you need to like uh breed up a ton of pigs wait for a thunderstorm wait for the lightning to strike the pigs and then kill the zombie pigmen to get gold which yeah is not uh the easiest thing so the i it's usable on flat worlds but i wouldn't really recommend it because it's just not um, really worth. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's not really worth the amount of squeeze you get for like. I mean, yeah, I guess on fly it would be kind of worth free gold for a diamond because like, again, the only way to get gold in flat is to like uh, kill zombie pigmen from lightning strikes, but. Yeah, I can't really recommend this because it doesn't really add much to the fl flat experience. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye